Oh, hello brother. The first thing that we are going to learn is vectors and how I'm going to uh, tell you about this. Let's go to the notes or the PDF file that you have sent me, this one. So first thing first. So we need to uh, need to know what is a vector first, okay? But before knowing the vector, you need to know the magnitude. Magnitude is anything that is a quantity, right? For example, now speed. If you are moving with like 20 meter per second or like 30 meter per second, 40 meter per second in any direction, then this is your speed. But if I say that you are moving 20 meter per second in the north, then this will complete a vector definition, right? 20 meter per second north, that would be your vector giving your direction and your magnitude. Magnitude is 20 meter per second and the direction is north. So this is our vector definition. There are different quantities in physics which are vectors such as displacement, velocity, acceleration. You can you, you can see these uh, displacement, velocity and acceleration. Okay. Displacement is change in position. For example, if you are staying at a point A and you move to point B. Look, you're staying at point A and move to point B. Then the, this vector defines the displacement, right? From point A to point B. In, in the same sense, velocity, if you are moving with 20 meter per second in a particular direction, as I give an example, like you're moving 20 meter per second in north, then uh, that would be your velocity vector. And similar is the acceleration. So each vector has its magnitude and has its direction. Okay, so let's, let's uh, get it done. And I will tell you what is actually a vector. Now let's draw a vector over here. Okay, I draw, uh, let's draw the Cartesian system first. Wait. I will draw a line. This is my line. This is my y-axis. And this is my x-axis. Right? I will write it here. This is x. This, uh, this is my x-axis. Right. This is my x-axis and this is my y-axis, okay? Now, if you need to draw a vector on it, for example, I, was, I would say the direction of the vector is in the x-direction, in the horizontal direction. So, I would draw the vector on this line, on this x-axis, okay? For example, uh, take a brush and I will draw here this thing. This is my vector on the x axis. It has, it can have any magnitude. Well, for example, say three. It has three magnitude. Uh, magnitude means the length of the vector. It is three, and its direction is x. If its direction is x and its magnitude three, then I can say this is three i. Okay, i i is the unit vector of x direction. If anything is in x direction, that would be i. If anything is in y direction, that would be j. Okay. So this is our 3i and similarly if we have another vector, this vector, this is on y direction, okay, and this is also 3, then I would say this is my 3j vector, okay, okay, I, I can here write the complete vector, so total vector, if I, I take the resultant of this vector, that if I sum up, sum up both of the vectors, okay? If I sum up both of the vectors, it would be, let me uh, take a bigger size. Uh, like I sum up three, why it's not getting big? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is my vector. For example, I say my vector is R is equals to three I plus 3j. Remember one thing that i cannot be added to j. i's can only be added to i and j can only be added to j. Okay. And now this vector is 3i plus 3j. But how would I draw it? How would I draw it? That's the big, that's the question. If I just draw this vector, this 3j vector over here. Okay. This is my 3j vector, the vector that I draw. Let me give an arrow on it. Okay. Now this same vector is drawn here. I have just shifted it its direction. Now using head to tail rule, you can join these two vectors to produce the resultant vector. 
okay this 3i and this 3j can produce a resultant vector r which is written here okay now i will draw a resultant vector using this and its arrow will be in this direction fine so this is my resultant vector this thing okay and if i want to know how long is this vector right how long is this vector what is the magnitude of this vector and also we don't know the direction of this vector but we know the direction of our previous vectors this one 3i this one 3j this was along x this was along y but we don't know what is the direction of this vector and also the magnitude of this vector so for this we apply the pythagoras theorem to evaluate the uh, magnitude of this vector so let's do it okay say uh, magnitude r is equal to square root 3 square plus 3 square and that would be wait if I produce and that would be if you solve it under root 18 this will give us 4.24 okay units units mean the magnitude so this is 4.24 long if we add two vectors one in x direction 3 and one in y direction 3 we'll get 4.24 units in similar way if we want to know the direction with the x axis of this vector for example what is the direction of this vector this thing this thing over here what is the direction of this this is the direction in the x and similarly what is the direction of this vector y this is 0 degree with x axis and this is 90 degree with x axis but we don't know the direction of this so what would we do we put up an equation then theta is equals to y by x y component of the resultant vector and x component of the resultant vector so y component is 3 x is 3 so we get 1 10 theta is equals to 1 solve for theta theta would be 45 degrees okay this is this is the basic of the vectors if you get it so i would move further on Okay.